At Yellow Crane Tower in the west, my old After friends... one night of wind and showers, how many are the following? He goes down to Young Zhou, a thousand miles from home. I'm Lonely smoke rises straight over endless river. The sun... How rare the moon, so round and clear. With cup in hand, I ask of the blue sky. What a scene with petals falling and grass growing. Birds and butterflies flying and frolicking. Brother Zhao, Brother Soon, I'm here! Brother Meng, how you kept me waiting. If you got here any later, all the wine would be gone. <laughs> my bad. I'll drink up to extend my apologies. Hope you forgive me. Brother Hauran, it's so nice we get together. But I've always been curious. With your talent, you should have made a name for yourself in Chang'an. Why did you come back to Xiangyang? I did not mean to be secretive with you, but the reason for my return to Mount Lumen of Xiangyang is rather embarrassing. It's mid-evening! Close your doors and windows! Watch out for thieves! Wang Wei? We didn't quite have our fill at this banquet. Let's go back and continue. Alright, as Brother Horan invites, I cannot refuse. Let's drink until we're drunk today. Somebody bring some food and wine! We have an emergency, sir! His Majesty has arrived! He has now entered the mansion! What? Hurry! Let's welcome His Majesty! It's not okay. I fear offending His Majesty in my intoxicated state. Brother Horan, don't panic! His Majesty is approachable and will surely not blame us. No, really not proper. I'd better hide for now. Hey! Brother Hauran, don't! Here's His Majesty! Were you drinking with someone? Mm hmm? Huh? Oh! Please pardon, Your Majesty. This is my friend Meng Hauran. We were catching up today and had a few extra drinks. Hauran feared he might seem rude to Your Majesty, so he hid under the table. You may rise. Meng Hauran is here, Your Majesty. You are Meng Hauran? I've heard your name. People of all ages in Chang'an are reciting your poems these days. Your Majesty overpraises me. It's just a few poems. My friends went out of their way to support me. Don't be so modest. Since I happen to see you here, why don't you recite one of your recent works for me? Horan, haven't you wanted to serve the country? Now is the perfect opportunity. My honor, Your Majesty. Got one. No more petitions will I submit at the North Palace Gate, because on South Mountain my humble hut for me does wait. As I'm talentless, His Majesty bears me not in mind. And sickly too, my old friends leave me alone and behind. Bears me not in mind? I've never met you before, and you haven't introduced yourself to me. Now you are blaming me in this poem? Pardon, Your Majesty. Hauran must be drunk and muddle-headed at the moment. Drunken words are true thoughts. You don't need to defend him. As he accused me of being neglectful, I'll neglect him as he said. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> Brother Horan, 
I never thought you would do such a thing. If what you say is true, your future career will... Forget about the past. From now on, I will live a simple life, writing poetry every day, drinking with my brothers. Sounds delightful, doesn't it? For this magnanimous mindset, you have my respect. Cheers. Cheers. Today, as the three of us brothers drink to the fill, why not compose another poem, Brother Horan? Of course, why not? My friends prepared chicken and rice. I'm invited to his cottage hall. Green trees surround the village. Blue hills slant beyond city wall. Windows open to field and ground. O'er wine we talk of crops of grain. On double ninth day, I'll come round for the chrysanthemums again. Good poem. Good poem indeed. Today, let this poem serve as an oath. When the Chongyang Festival arrives, we must come back here to appreciate the chrysanthemums together. A gentleman's promise is as good as gold. It's a deal. <laughs>